Hi, and welcome to DCO Graphics Studio. In these videos, I show the process for creating architectural and 3D designs using Rhino and Grasshopper. So if you're an architect, student, or anyone that wants to learn how this program works, make sure to subscribe for future content. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, let me know in the comments below. I will also be sharing the script on my site, capettidavid.com. For this exercise, what I wanted to show is we're starting here with a grid and this is a triangular grid and I have the extents of X and Y to three and the size to 24. Now, the reason for this is because I need some curves to kind of work with and I um, feel like this is one that I haven't used too much. So let's go with the triangles. And now that we have this, I did route it through flattening it. There's, of course, I could have flattened it a different way. And then just picking one of the items so you can see what I'm doing to one of the curves. Now, as you can see, when we pick this item, which is just this triangle, I want to recreate it, but I don't want to just round off the edges. And so this is one of the ways that I wanted to share. I'll go to divide that curve using points. We can increase and decrease the number of points here. And this is going to be the quality or how much it's going to round off at the edges. Then here for the vertices, we plug it into the NURBS curve and those vertices go into there and that creates the overall curve. Now, the important thing to keep in mind is that periodic has to be set to true. This way it closes that curve. And now the smaller you go, the kind of less lower quality and more kind of rounded off it is. And the larger the number, the closer it is to the true form of the original shape. With that being said, the next step was to scale the form down and then create some boundary surfaces. So this is where now, as you can see, if we actually do it to all of them, this is what we get. So by recreating that curve, let's scale this down. And it looks like it's a straight section, but it is actually rounded off. And same here with degree, we can change the degree to be more or less. And this will also change the quality of it. With that being said, let's lower this to a lower number and see what it looks like. Now let's change this to quality. The degree of zero doesn't really work. When we start increasing it, it gives us a better result. I just wanted to show you how to recreate that curve. Um, there's many other applications to use. We don't necessarily always have to use the nervous curve. We can use interpolated curve. Um, but I hope that was useful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. For this tutorial, we need to create some curves so we can recreate them. So I'm going to start here with a plane. So I'll double click here and go to, basically you bring in this component called plane surface. We can give it a value in the X and Y, and then we can go here into vector grid populate geometry and create a slider of something like 15 and use that for the count. And then we can plug the geometry right into it. The next portion is going to be to go to mesh triangulation Voronoi. And this is going to be in 2d. The next portion is going to be to bring in the split. There's different ways to do this. We can bring in this uh, sp split breadth multiple. And we can plug in that surface in the cells and it'll split that into their own um, cells, right? And this is what we're going to use to recreate these curves. Now, first thing we want to do is deconstruct
and also list item. This way we can pick just one of those cells and we can now go to one of those, um, deconstruct one of those so we can get the edges. Now let's disable the preview on all of this and bring in a curve component so we can extract out of this output the edge and now we can disable the preview on all of this and see that we have kind of this cell, cell extracted. Now if we wanted to select all of them here we can go to graft and it'll do it to all of them. So how do we recreate a curve? Well there's different ways. The first way to recreate this curve, the simplest way, is going to be using fillet. And using fillet, we can plug in those curves and give it a radius. 1.50. Let's see if maybe that's too much. Oh, the other thing is the output of these edges, we have four, right? The issue is that those are not joined. So when they're not joined, it has nothing to round off. So if we go here to join curves, plug in, flatten it, and then round off those edges. As you can see, this is one way we can recreate that edge and kind of soften it uh, by, by rounding off the edges. What happens though is that when you extrude this, if you take this and we extrude this in the Z direction, we're sometimes not going to have the best result because like it'll have some creases that we don't want. Um, and sometimes you don't want your geometry to be like this. You want it to be a little bit more flexible. This is where we can take this joined curve and rebuild it. So rebuild curve, this is another way. And degree, this is where we can change that to three. And as you can see, it's not as smooth as the other one, but it does give you a little bit of a different result. This one is more to the inside. And of course, this will change depending on the cells that we have here. And also the index of the one that we choose, we can change. So let's change the index to, let's say five, and we can change those. But as you can see, they'll be intersecting with each other, which is sometimes not ideal. The other way is to Go back to this one, the basic curve, and let's change the number. Now the other way to do it is dividing the curve. So divide the curve, and with these output points, interpolated curve, and the degree, we can change, and periodic we're going to change to set boolean to true. This is going to close it. As you can see, another way of recreating the curve in a different way. So if we go to graft, it'll do it to all of them. Let's take a look at what that looks like compared to the cell. And the more points you create, the kind of closer it is to the, the actual shape. So let's go to 50. And then decrease it to like lower quality. Now this is using interpolated curve. If you use NURBS curve, it'll actually make sure it's to the inside of it. And we also need to go here to periodic, set boolean to true. And the closer you get, you see that you're kind of getting closer to the edges. So this is another really cool way to recreate a curve. Thank you very much for being here and I hope to see you next time.